Hello YouTube, I am sorry I have not made a video in a while, but today I'm bringing you my fire, my 2014 fireworks stash part one. So, I've only gone on one shopping trip and I got that board, so I just made a bunch of stuff. And so, uh, yeah, let's get started. Uh, I got two of these tanks. I'm going to get some more because I have battles every year and I'm going to be videotaping 4th of July and I'm going to be doing the Young Call Fireworks Show in my fireworks show. So yeah. Um, this is just a sh normal Shogun tank. This one's exactly the same, just different colors. So yeah. You don't get those every year. And let's get on to the homemade stuff now. Some of the homemade stuff at least. This is a Mac rocket. It's really light and it has like I think like fifteen match heads in it. Fifteen. Not fifty. It flies off. It'll fly off this. So, and here's just a little homemade thing. I named it five some bit because I just got blue so much eyes. And then you light this. And it starts burning. This is actually part of a morning glory or taped onto a bunch of matches. So yeah, and this one kinda is just gonna be kinda cool because these are just little things. It'll just be kinda fun to look at. My family, my little cousins are going to love to see this is I made. And this is also just one thing because I have nothing to do matches to use the matches with. And I don't want to just waste them and have them sitting somewhere in the closet. So I'm just making pretty much stuff out of them that I can. And I burned it. And I made like five of these and I burned them. Actually pretty cool. And it goes all the way back in there with tons of matches. I know this sucks, so it'll be in the comments like, oh, God, dude, your homemade fireworks suck, because these are just the ones that I made, so just to get rid of some of the matches, and I actually did. So, yeah, here's a homemade little thing with also homemade views, and yeah, Filled to the top with little matches. No, and this one has a ton of crackling ball stuff in it, as well as some a ton of match heads and a ton of sparkler powder and stuff. So this one's gonna be cool. So I'm just gonna light it off in the floor. And this one has one thing worth of crackling ball stars in it and uh one thing of sparkler one sparkler and half a marshmallow because i looked it up on youtube and, and if you mix up a marshmallow in with uh sparkler or some kind of gunpowder and stick it in something with a fuse it'll actually flash a lot so it's just in here and the case is it'll, if you put a quarter in like that machine there's machines at malls and stuff then when you twist the little handle thing, it'll give you a little prize in this. And I just had tons of these from when I was little just sitting around. So I thought I'd use them. I made one of these and I lit it and it was pretty awesome. It went, it was just really cool. So I'll show you that on 4th of July. Here's just another thing to get rid of. Some filled with match heads. And yes. Oh crap. Oh well, I know that later. Now here's a normal fire. It's a tri rotating wheel, and I'm guessing that you just get when you light the fuse, it burns through all these fuses too, and shoots out like a bunch of flames, and that propels it. So it'll spin around like that with trails of flames behind it. 
this never and this is also homemade. There's a bunch of crackling ball stars inside of this one. And this one is not just to get rid of stuff. This one's actually gonna be pretty cool. So yeah. Miniature fountain type of thing. Okay, so moving on to this one, moving on with the other stuff. By the way, this is part one of I don't know how many because I'm gonna do a lot of stocking. Fireworks. Okay. This one was just to get rid of my last whole box of matches. I had a giant box full of matches, and overall, this thing has a thousand, exactly one thousand match heads in it. And this has it has fifteen layers of tape on there because it's supposed to be like a giant explosion or something. And I. This one, uh, it took me forever, and I have blisters all over my hands, like, for example, there, I can't see it, right there, that red spot, and there's also blisters, because I had to get scissors and cut off all the match heads, it took me about an hour, because of how many there are, a thousand match heads, oh jeez, hey, that one's gonna be crazy when I buy it. I'm definitely getting that on video. And right here we have a bottle rocket. I do live in Oregon, so these are illegal. That's why I only have one. Anything that's a rocket or anything is illegal. So, in Oregon, that's why I only have one. Which I might be getting one more from like my friend, because he has one more. I don't think he's ready yet. If he hasn't, then I'm gonna get it. And yeah, there's a bottle right there. This is my first time having a bottle rocket that I'm gonna light. And I'm gonna do that at night because it's. I think it has a rough work, so it's gonna blow up. Now I just have a little assortment of things in here. So yeah, let's start off. These are Camilla flowers, you light them and they start spinning out of control. They're really good. You get these every year. Set those all aside. So I'm just going to look at, after I do them, these little ones, I'm just going to put them back in there. And these are my homemade spinners. They have a whole sparkler just wrapped up in a little circle, and I tested two of them, and each one went. And the third's spinning really fast. And these are pretty cool. You have to do them on cement, though. Or else they won't work like smooth. Or smooth feet. Well, or whatever. These are pulling tricks. And you pull them basically, and they explode like a firecracker. They're really that loud, and they're really cool. I set one up on my dad's office door a few, like, last week, I think. And it's hilarious. So, he need to get those if you're in a prank world with your family. Okay. Yeah. I have four crackling balls because I used them for the other ones for some, for like fountains in it and stuff. And that mega crackling bowl, which I'll show you in a second. So, this, these are. All I have for now, but I'm buying definitely gonna way more crackling balls. I love crackling balls. And these are crackling ground bloom flowers. I just call them ground blooms. These are the ones I usually get. Crackling ones, they're pretty cool. I love purplish blue casing. And finally, last but not least. This is my super firecracker, not super cracker. super cracker, it's actually a crackling bowl, but I just call it a super cracker, super cracker, yeah, that's what I call it, um, and it, then it has a little silver thing right there, so, I guess in the dark, I'll be able to tell it apart, because it, it'll be shining, because a little bit of the light will be shining off this, because in the dark, it will, the green will look like dark too. So I colored it blue so I could tell it apart a little better. And yeah, so 
So this has the stuff from three crackling balls in it and two things with the sparklers just jammed all in there. It was extremely hard to get it all in here. But yeah. No, not two. One sparkler. Sorry about that. And yeah, so that's bad. Alright, one hope you guys enjoy.